Hello everybody, it's Michelle and I am so excited to show you guys the new alcohol markers from Arteza. You guys know that I showed you a set before of 60 colors. They now have them also in a set of 120, but these sets here are amazing. This is going to complete whichever set you've got. We've got a set of 36 skin tones and a set of 36 gray tones. And not only can you use these skin tones to make any flesh tone that you desire, the grays I think are great for doing black and white type of artwork or even just for shading and shadowing with your other colors. I have also got some of the replaceable tips. I told you guys these would be coming and they have them in the chisel and in the fine point to replace in your alcohol markers. So we'll just go ahead and pick one and show you right quick how to change those out if you need to replace your nibs. So you're just going to need a pair of tweezers. I like the reverse tweezers because they squeeze for you. So let's see, this is our chisel end. And these are perfectly good nibs. These are brand new markers. But I just wanted to change that out right quick to show you guys how easy that is to do. So you're just going to take your tweezers and grab a hold of the nib that's currently in there. And pull that out slowly because you don't want to have an ink spill. And just lift that out. And simply press the new one back in. And you'll need to give it a little bit of time to absorb the ink from inside of the marker. And it's going to be the same way with the fine tip. Just pull that slowly straight out. And take the new one and just press it right back in. And I'm just going to leave that lay in there and we'll see if it starts to absorb that ink as we move on with the rest of the video. And just take a quick glance at all the different colors. The grays have got neutral grays, warm grays, cool grays. And in your flesh tones, you've got yellowy colors, pinky colors, orangey or reddish colors. So many different options in there. And I've got an image stamped out here that I'm going to color in so you can see some of these markers. And as I've told you guys before, I really kind of prefer a brush tip. And although the Artezas don't have that, they just have the fine bullet tip or the wide chisel, I still have found that they blend beautifully. And I wanted to try to get some of the lighter tones going on because the super light colors, like this right here, quartz white, you're not going to find in your other set. So... You can use that just to blend out some of that color there. And you can see, although it's called quartz white, it's just this super pale kind of peachy color. And you can work darker colors out into that if you want to. For example, brick red. This is actually my favorite color in both sets. It's a reddish brown kind of color, and I think that makes for interesting fall florals. I'm going to try this little bit of a brighter pink to feather that out with. And I'm working on Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I find that that works best with alcohol markers. And look here, you guys, just that quickly, 
my nibs have absorbed the ink on my black. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on that. I don't want it to dry out. That was actually very quick. Just about 10 minutes or so. It may have even been done sooner. I just hadn't looked at it. And see, I'm taking my medium tone over the dark tone too. To kind of lighten it up just a touch as well as help it blend in. That is beautiful for fall. So let's see what we can find with a little bit of a greenish tone to it because I want to do some of the leaves and I want to do this complete image out of just my grays and neutrals. Or I mean my grays and my skin tones. So we're going to try turtle green and blush gray. I'm going to start with my lighter color. I think that blush gray is just gorgeous. I'm bringing a little bit of my turtle green. And I think this is a beautiful color combination. And just bring back my light and blend those in. Beautiful, you guys. I just love this. I am so excited about these colors. And for the flower centers, I'm going to use mango and vanilla. I think I'll go in with my vanilla first, my lighter tone. And then bring in that mango. Now I think I'm going to use just the straight brick red for these little berry looking ones here. There's not really room there. To blend two colors. And I love that brick red color. I think I'm going to use some of the pinks for the butterfly. So I'm using peony pink and muted rose pink. So first with my light color, and then my darker, which I'm just going to do toward the center here. And blend those together again with my light. And I'm just going to use stone gray for the butterfly body. Okay, and now for the bird, first of all, I'm just going to use a little bit of mango for the beak, and then I'm going to find some of the bluish grays, so I've got ocean blue and powder blue. So again, I'm going to start out with my lighter color, the powder blue. Maybe I should have used my chisel tip to fill in that little bit of a larger area there. I think I'll leave just that slightest little hint of a white belly on in there. Okay, I'm going to use my ocean blue and just come in a little bit on the tail feathers. And then I'm just going to blend that all out with my powder blue again. And for that white area on his belly, I'm just going to come in with clear water. And I think this is gorgeous, you guys. And of course, you can always use it as the skin tones if you do a lot of character art. 
drawing and coloring faces. I don't do a lot of that, but I still love these tones. They're great for so many things. And I love that you just kind of get a muted color palette and you can do something like this for fall. So I will be sure to leave you guys a link to the gray tones as well as the skin tones and the replaceable nibs too if you need those. I think these are gorgeous, you guys, and I just can't get enough of Arteza. They keep coming out with more and more. I was so excited about their alcohol markers, and now they're adding more and more colors and just expanding their palette, and I love it. I just love it. Sort of a muted color palette like this, I like anyway, and I can see myself using these in a lot of applications, not just for skin tones and black and white art. So be sure and check those links. And I've got a coupon code in the description for you guys as well. So be sure to use that when you get to checkout and you'll save 10% on your order. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.